Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We expect those snow showers uh, to continue tonight and into Thursday as the colder air is coming back into the Miami Valley. Some small accumulations possible tonight and also tomorrow, less than a half inch overnight. And we're probably talking about an inch or less of accumulation through the daytime hours on Thursday. Slick spots are going to be possible with the chance of some more snow showers also coming back into the area late in the day on Friday as we get to late Friday afternoon and into the evening. And right now it looks like dry conditions on Saturday, but the rain and snow chances come back to the area as we get to Sunday. Let's check out that forecast tonight. 7 o'clock, 35 degrees. Looking for some of those flurries and snow showers with falling temperatures. We're dropping down to 33 by 11 o'clock. After that, we could see freezing, so that means any moisture out there could start to refreeze, create some slick spots for the morning commute, especially if we get some of those uh, flurries and snow showers, a little more coverage again late tonight and tomorrow. And during the day, temperatures won't get much warmer than the low 30s, and with the breezes, it'll keep those wind chill numbers down. Uh, well, as far as the precipitation goes, well, today, plus 0.93 now after uh, the rain and melted snow over the past 24 hours of two-thirds of an inch. We're now about an inch above normal at this point in the year. Uh, already a wet start to the month and, uh, and the year for that matter. And snowfall for the season starting back in July were 2.3 inches above normal now, almost up to 15 inches. Five inches recorded out at Dayton International Airport. Actually, that was the highest total. Union reported 4.9, and then you can see most of the area, especially from Dayton South, about one to three inches. And again, these are just totals through this morning. Some of these numbers may have gone up a little bit this evening in our northern counties. Uh, winter weather alerts, we've had snow for a good part of the day farther north in the northwest part of the Miami Valley. Winter storm warnings in effect for northeast Indiana, northwest Ohio, southeastern Michigan, but they've all been canceled for us. Now tonight, we may see some small additional accumulations, less than a half inch. And through the day tomorrow, it looks like any additional accumulation should be an inch or less. So we'll see these snow showers passing through, uh, especially past midnight, later tonight, past midnight, a little more coverage showing up, and then those snow showers drifting through the area tomorrow. Then we get a break in the precipitation as we get to Friday, maybe even some breaks in the clouds, and then a few more snow showers drift in from the west as we get to Friday evening. Right now, tracking some of those flurries out there tonight on live Doppler 2 HD around Sydney, Piqua, Troy, down toward Dayton as the colder air is coming in, and still some radar returns to the west of us in central Indiana, where we could see a few flurries as this low pressure center continues to move northeast with the heaviest snow pushing up into Canada, up into Ontario, Canada, and Michigan. Temperatures next 12 hours, a very slow drop off here to freezing and down below later tonight with highs tomorrow expected to be in the low to mid 30s north and really pretty much the same pattern across the southern half of the Miami Valley. Your forecast tonight, breezy and cold, a few snow showers out there, less than a half inch of accumulation, overnight low right around 30 degrees, west wind at 10 to 20, cloudy, breezy, snow showers tomorrow, inch or less of accumulation, high 33. And Friday, we're going to see windy weather, that chance of some snow showers again toward evening, high 35, a dry day Saturday, but rain and snow Sunday, a little colder Monday, a winter mix possible Tuesday with snow showers and colder weather again on Wednesday.